this is Angie at Stampin' with the Mora and today I have a card tutorial to share with you and I've been dying to use this set. This is the ca uh, Coffee Cafe bundle and isn't that adorable? I love these little cups. They're so cute and this is a good size cup actually. I wasn't sure how big it was going to be when I first got it but this is the um, Coffee Cafe bundle. So in this bundle, I'll show you right here, it's on page 31 of the new catalog. And so in the bundle you get the stamp set and then you get the framelits also. And if you do buy them together, you save 10%. The paper is adorable. And this also is like the birthday memories that I shared with you where you could cut out all those little... Um, animals and stuff that are on the designer series paper. Here's the framelits on this one. And so here is the designer series paper. And you can cut using this small one. You can cut out these little cups here. And it'll cut out these all these little ones right here. And also there's another one that is just like chocolate chip and like these right here, it will cut out the, let's see, these are big enough. No, I guess it won't cut out those. I thought I saw another one that I could use it on. No, but you can definitely cut those out by fussy cutting if you don't have the framelits. Even these you can fussy cut. I think this is the only one that will cut out these little cups. They're adorable though. So that is that, and we are going to be using the Big Shot a bunch, so this video may be a little bit longer because I'm going to go ahead and cut them out all the pieces with you so you can see how cute and how, how it all goes together. So this is the card I'm sharing. This card is a, uh, an 11 inch by four and a half. It's not four and a quarter. If you want to make a four and a quarter to fit in your regular um, car envelopes, you can cut it a quarter inch shorter. I wanted it because the cup was a little bit bigger, so I wanted it to, to be a little bit wider. And then you'll just score it at five and a half. So it's still five and a half, but it's five and a half by four and a half. But I'll, I'll make my own um, envelope using the envelope punch board and the designer series paper it's going to be really cute so this is what I'm sharing and so we just need our card base and then you're going to need these are all scraps that I had in my scrap drawer so you'll need some crumb cake a couple pieces of white and then this is a piece of vellum that I used for the lid so let's go ahead and stamp our cup and we're going to stamp it using crumb cake. And when you use these, I always just set it out for a minute so it can get the, the shape. And then just take your um, clear block and then just place it on here. So it keeps the form, the right form and shape. And then we're, that's the only one we're going to stamp. So let me grab the crumb cake here. So we're going to stamp that one. And then we're going to use the big shot to cut that out. We're going to stamp the Thanks a Latte in Emerald Envy. So. Let me grab that. We'll just stamp everything and then take it to the big shot. I put these all back. I, ha I thought I had everything out, but I guess I put them all back. So with Emerald Envy, we are going to stamp the Thanks a Latte, and then we're going to stamp the straw. I think I needed to move that up because I'm going to use this framelit here. No, well, yeah, I'm going to stamp another one of those. This way I have, I could center the thanks a latte. 
Okay, and then next we are going to stamp the straw. And we're going to stamp the little stripes that go on the straw. Once again, I'm going to lay that down there so it is straight. And it's a little tricky doing the neat little stripes on it, but I did it a couple times and they turned out really good. So I can't get my head over it, so hopefully I'm going to get them halfway decent. <laughs> See how you can get off there? But we're not going to need the whole... We're not going to need the whole thing, so only part of this is going to show. So we're good right there. I'm going to clean this off real quick. And I think that is all that we are going to stamp. So we're going to need that. We're going to need that and this one. And the lid is going to be in our vellum. Okay, so let's get the big shot up here. We'll try to run a couple pieces at a time, so I won't take up all the time. Alright, so this time I'm using my regular um, big shot platform and the thin adapter, because you'll need that for Well, I'm going to have to run this one by itself because let's see if I can. I'm just going to cut that. We can run a couple things here at a time. Oops, I need my plate on. I almost forgot that. I like doing this with the magnetic platform, but I need to use the embossing folder, so I needed this one. And then we're going to go ahead and run this one with it. Because I wanted to give a little bit of dimension to the little thing that goes around that says thanks a latte, and I'll show you here in a minute what I did. So we got that, and we got the cup. And then we're going to run this through. See this really, for something like this, the magnetic platform really works well. I can use a piece of washi, but I don't have any, I don't think, right on hand. And then this one is going to be for the vellum, so I'm just going to cut enough of the vellum. Hopefully we'll cut that straw out pretty straight. Okay, so I think we have most of our pieces here. We have the lid, the little straw, and now to get the texture on this, the uh, little sleeve here, I just took my textured impressions wood grain. And I just put it on the end here. And we need to take the adapter off. Oops, I don't want that going through. And we'll run that through. And I think we'll be done with the big shot. So look how cute it looks like one of those little. I just wanted to give it that texture of and have some dimension to it. Alright, so we have all the pieces right here. Where'd the lid go? Right here. 
And I'm going to bring up here really quick. You don't have to do this, but I thought it really looked cute. I just put this on here like that, and I just scored it right across the top so it looks like a real lid. And then I also took my half inch and just took a little bit out, just like that, so that you can see where the straw will go in. I just thought it was cute and looked more realistic. All right, so let's bring this in. And to get the little coffee marks, we're going to use some crumb cake. And it's using the Timeless Textures. You know I love this, but look at This is perfect for this card. So we're using that. And I'm just going to stamp it with some crumb cake. And I actually just created a pattern. And I wanted it all over here. Another thing I didn't show you, I'll show you here in a second. I just created a pattern going like kind of backwards L shape. And the cards, uh, the cup's going to cover some of it. And then with chocolate chip, we're going to do some of the coffee beans, which are from the same set. Aren't those cute? <laughs> so now we're ready to get our our cup put on. Boy, I can't speak today. So we'll put that here. And I didn't show you what I was going to show you, but let's go ahead and get this on together. And I forgot to put the straw on. Let me see if I can scoot it in there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to cut it. This way I don't have to. What I did before is I only adhered the sides and the bottom and then I slid that in there, but I didn't do it this time. I didn't think. <laughs> so you can do it either way. Oh, look at that. It slid right under there. I may have to move it. I'm going to stick this on with a couple glue dots. And I only put two on each end. And then I'm going to stick this under here. Just like that. And you can put one more glue dot under here. It doesn't show really a, a lot. It just barely. There we go. You can barely see them. And then the next thing that I did was I added, I created a bow with some linen thread. And I just attached that. But you know, before I attach the bow, I'm going to show you what else I did to give it a little bit more okay let's put the bow aside here so I got my scoring tool out here and I just put this on it's only like one eighth of an inch and then I just scored up here and then I just went all the way around just to give it some, a little bit of character, I guess. I got to do it this way. So I just lined it up with the edge here. So it's like an eighth of an inch. And then across the bottom also. So you just want to go across the top. And then I just took my Stampin' Write marker 
and the using the little tip, the writing tip, I just went around and just kind of make it a little bit of squiggly. It just gives it a little bit added interest. And then I just put three little dots on each corner. And then we'll add our little bow with a glue dot. trim that a little bit and that is it aren't those adorable I really love this card I think it's so cute and if you want to put like a sentiment up here you can fill it in there I just thought it was perfect like this because it's just a thank you so I thought it'd be really cute as a thank you card so I hope you enjoyed it if you need any supplies you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com Thanks everyone. Have a blessed day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.